Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Shay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So this is my furnished apartment tour. This video has been long awaited. You guys got, get to finally see it and I'm so excited. So before I begin, I do want to talk about my outfit because let's get into it. So these boots I actually made and I do have a video on how I made them from start to finish that I will link down below in the description. And this dress is actually from Pretty Little Things. If you guys want to check out more outfit posts, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will also be in the description as well. So let's jump right into it. Let's start with the living room. So for this room, my inspiration was restoration hardware, just like the rest of my apartment. So I started out with three colors for my whole apartment to make the whole thing cohesive. I like blacks, whites, grays, and a little bit of tan as my fourth color. And this sofa was the biggest come up. It's from Ikea. It's originally $600 for it, but I got it for $150. And the pillows on the couch I got from Home Goods, And they, some of them come in sets, like these two black ones for $24.99. But then these are $16.99 and the throw as well. I like to add textures to my house because I feel like because I only have three colors you do want to add some variation so tone on tone and texture on texture is always good so I'll be getting a new sofa pretty soon but let's talk about this artwork if you guys saw my haul video that I did a couple months back that I will also link down below I got this painting from home goods but I painted over it because I wanted something different and I do have a video on how I DIY this as well and to add that restoration hardware touch, I added a picture light that I got from Amazon and it was only $24.99 and it comes with a remote that you can set it and I absolutely love it and I think it adds that sleek look. Alright, so this credenza I got from Facebook Marketplace and it's actually a Mitchell Gold piece and the reason why I love this is because it has compartments that you can store all your video games or things that you don't want out in the open so I thought this was really nice and as an added touch we've actually drilled a hole through the back of the credenza so we can have our cords hidden and I think it looks a lot better that way a lot cleaner and you're able to actually put your accessories on top of the credenza that way so let's talk about this coffee table. I love this table so much. I like that it adds a glass element. This was also from Facebook Marketplace and it was $100 and it's originally from Wayfair. I actually spray painted this twice. I spray painted it gold at first and then I spray painted it black. I love how the black looks. I feel like it looks really sleek. Eventually this will not be here anymore once I get my new sofa and ottoman. So this is a temporary piece. But I love that I'm able to see um, the bottom so I can add a tier of a book and then another tier of book and accessories. This is my sunroom and my vision for the sunroom is also restoration hardware feel and there's a lot of items in this sunroom that I will be eventually changing like this computer desk that I got from Ikea. I do want to buy the black one eventually and I do want to mount this artwork. It's just super heavy and if you guys seen my video where I hold this, this is actually from Pottery Barn and it's originally $600 but got it from Facebook Marketplace for a steal. But it's super heavy to actually mount so that it might take a while. And as for this sofa, I got this from Facebook Marketplace as well and it was a hundred for hundred and fifty dollars for it. I love that it's white. I wish the other one was white as well, but this one's okay. This was the first big item that I actually purchased from Facebook Marketplace and I was so happy about that. So yeah, and I love the black and white pillows and the nice throw. I feel like this is very orange. As for this rug. Let's get into this rug. So this rug is a cowhide leather rug. It's woven, but I got this from Facebook Marketplace for about 100 
or $150, I can't remember, but I will link my Facebook Marketplace video so you guys can see the prices on everything. And these kinds of rugs, I've searched them online. They're originally thousands of dollars and they're really hard to keep clean or get clean because I think I spent maybe $300 to clean this, but I think it was worth it. Let's talk about this Birds of Paradise plant. Like, do you guys remember the video that I did where I did a tour um, going to Restoration Hardware and I showed you guys that this is actually my favorite plant ever. It's so hard to take care of, but I love it so much. I love the tropical feel that it gives my semi-modern space. I feel like it adds that perfect touch. So this is the famous bookshelf. If you guys saw the video that I did on this, you can see how I style this. This is also on my channel and I will leave that in the description down below. All the accessories are either from Home Goods, West Side Markets, or DIY. Like these are just books that I turned the covers inside out to give that RH feel. Cause you can really do RH on a budget. As for the curtains, I got these curtains from Ikea and they were about $29.99 for a pack of two. And I have about six packs on this wall because I like that bunched up sleek effect. And yeah, I love how it turned out. And the rods are actually from overstock.com. Let's start with the kitchen bar area. So I got these bar stools from, the first one I actually got was from Facebook Marketplace, of course, it was $100. And these are actually Ballard Design bar stools that are originally $300. So I was really excited when I found them because I only found one, but I knew that I was gonna be able to manifest another one. So I found the second one at a Ballard Design outlet. And this one was, I think, $150, but it was well worth it because the original price is $300, like I said. So, yeah, I really love these. I like the brass detail on it, and I think it goes perfect with this kind of beige color. So, as for my centerpiece, I got this wooden riser from Westside Market along with the candle holders from Westside Market as well. And then I got this snuffer from Crate and Barrel along with the wig trimmer. I think this is very bougie and I think it's needed. And it's a great conversation piece, honestly. So as for the pumpkins, I got these from Home Goods and this vessel for my floral from Home Goods? Was it Home Goods? Home Goods. And then these florals are from Hobby Lobby. And I love the way that this looks. And I like that there's three elements on here because they add a glass element, a wooden element, and then a little bit of bling. My kitchen, I created two vignettes, just little corners that I added some interest by adding trays and books and things like that. So this first corner I love so much because we got this concrete bowl from Westside Market and I love the unique shape on it along with some cutting boards. I love stacking cutting boards on top of each other because I just I love the way it looks. So this stone marble one I got from Home Goods. The second one I got from World Market and the black one behind it I actually picked up from Ballard Design and if you guys see my haul videos, you know that I got the Home Body Book and the, Magnol the Magnolia Table Book from Home Goods as well. So this vignette was the first one that I did, and this cutting board I got from Westside Market. I love the antique age feel from it. I think it's so nice. And this greenery is from Home Goods, and also this mortar and pestle is really nice. I like. I like the fact that it's marble and it kind of plays off of the marble over here. So I'm kind of bringing that cohesive feel back into the kitchen as well. And I have another Magnolia table book that I put underneath that. And then this vessel actually says utensils on it. And I just turned it around because I like the way that it looked better like that. So I just put my wooden spoons in there and it just adds a little bit of an accessory to this corner. This 
area. This is going to be the coffee station. It's still a work in progress. So just stay tuned for that video. This whole station right here is going to be transformed into my little coffee station slash bar. This is my dining room. I already have a completed dining room tour that I did. And the reason why is because I finished my dining room first. It was the first room that I did and I love the way that it turned out. And I'll also link that video in the description below so you guys can get a better look at everything. So this table I also got from Facebook Marketplace. I think it was 220 and it was originally from Wayfair and it's the at Worth table. And then these dining chairs are also from Wayfair, but the slip covers are from Ikea and I got them on Facebook Marketplace for $80 for four of them, for eight of them. And this rug, I love the woven material on it and it's very RH inspired. I got it for from Overstock for $100. And my centerpiece is this beautiful bowl full of moss very RH vibes so as for my credenza I got this credenza from Facebook marketplace for I think maybe $200 and it's originally a crate and barrel buffet so it comes with compartments that you can open and store utensils and wine glasses so it's actually perfect for a dining area All right, this juju hat I picked up from Home Goods. I showed this in a haul video. You guys like this so much, so I'm gonna link this down below if you guys wanna purchase ones very similar to it. And the Tom Ford book, you guys know I did a giveaway on this recently, and my creator actually received hers in the mail. She's gonna send me pictures so you guys can see how she styled hers. And I just have this geode stone from Home Goods as well. And this basket is from Home Goods. I DIY this one as well, and I spray painted it with a cream spray paint and gave it a different look. And this brass mirror is from Home Goods as well, and I spray painted it a brass color as well as the picture light. It was originally like a gold color, but I wanted it to be a little more brass, so I think it looks a lot better. As for these paintings, I still want to eventually change them or maybe paint over them because it, originally it was giving me the Restoration Hardware vibes, but now I think I want to go in a different direction where it's a lot more muted, like the one that's in my bedroom. My inspiration for my bedroom was a luxury hotel vibe and feel and also Restoration Hardware inspired. So let's start with this bed. I picked up this bed frame from Facebook Marketplace for $100 and I love it so much but it is temporary until I buy a new one that I'm gonna get from Restoration Hardware. For the bedding, I picked up most of my bedding from Home Goods. This coverlet, which I love so much, I love the texture on it and I love the sheen that it has. This is from Home Goods. This quilt is also from Home Goods. These Venetia Home Pillows are from Home Goods as well. And like I said, I love the texture and tone. I love to play with textures and tones in my room and my apartment. So I got these sheets from Home Goods that come with four pillowcases inside, which is really hard to find. So you just have to be on the lookout for that. But that's what makes your bedding look like a hotel vibe. This corner over here, I got this bench from Home Goods, and I like this so much because I feel like it goes with my gray and white theme in my room. And I think this was about $149. And then this painting that's also out in my living room, that the one that I painted over, this was the original. You guys saw that I hauled this, and I I love it, but I think I'm eventually gonna paint over it. These pillows are also from Home Goods, and we're playing with texture again so I'm doing tone on tone and then a different texture right here this throw blanket is also from home goods and I love it I feel like it adds something different and it completes this whole area this dresser I also picked up from Facebook marketplace and it actually goes along with the two nightstands that I picked up as well it's actually from the same seller and I decided to spray paint the dresser handles black as well 
and let's start with the dresser accessories. So this vessel I picked up from Home Goods, and it was originally like an off-white color and I decided to spray paint it matte black because I like adding black as, you know, my pop of color in my home. And I love this shagreen and brass tray along with the coffee table books that I put inside of it. I like this chest because it kind of plays off with the tone on the Louis Vuitton book that I have over there. It's kind of like that brown gray color and it's suede and that crystal. I also love crystals to add a little bit of that glam element to any room. Instead of adding a wall of curtains like I originally wanted to do in my bedroom, I decided to add a table in between the windows because I feel like this is a great moment to add accessories in every part of my room because if I only had a wall of um, curtains, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I get to accessorize. So I got this table from Home Goods, and I love the black detail on it with the brass. Like I said, and I love the gray wash on it. It's giving me RH vibes. And I decided to add this Louis Vuitton book and take off the book cover to reveal this kind of brown burgundy color that went perfect with this gem that I found at a gem show. And I love these for fragrance it's different than adding a candle and I feel like the bottle always looks really nice and when it's empty you can keep them and this vessel I picked up for home goods along with this pompous grass a tip for pompous grass that I would use is to spray paint to, to spray it with hairspray so it doesn't shed everywhere so this painting I got from Home Goods, but I decided to paint over it and paint the frame black. And I liked how it turned out. I do have a video on how I DIY my last painting and I basically use the same techniques, just a lot less color. So I just used some spackle and painted the underneath white. So I love the dimension that it has and texture. So as for my basket underneath, I picked this up from West Side Market. And I love it so much because I think it's so unique. It's a tire actually that they turned into a basket. And I have this throw from Home Goods. So I love this little area right here. All right, guys, so this is my bathroom. It's very small, and hopefully, when I get another apartment, my next bathroom will be a lot larger so I can play around with decor. So on the counters, I have these towels that are on top of this tray that I picked up from Home Goods as well. And my favorite candle of all time is Storm. You guys, I stole my mom's Storm candle and she got me a new one. See how that works? So I love this oil diffuser I got from Home Goods. It's coconut flavor and it smells so good. And this shell I got from Home Goods and I actually put some moss in it and it's very RH vibes. If you guys seen their site, you know that this is an exact dupe for that. This is my closet. I do want to do an updated closet tour and show you guys how I color for me everything and a full tour of everything, but this is just a sneak peek. So this is my restroom. I like the spa-like feel. I like the look of the bamboo tray and the white curtain. All right, creators, thank you so much for watching this house tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun to film. And leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite room is in my home. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.